Okay, so let's get in and have a look at how I set uh, my patches up. Um, what uh, probably just the first thing to start with? What I normally do, I use four scenes. The first scene has got um, 100 watt plexi jumped um, in it. Um, what, one, plexi 100 watt jump, um, which I really like um, to give me a like a pseudo clean sound and um, a real sort of break up sort of sound. I don't really use a lot of super spanky cleans, mainly sort of on the edge of break up to to a pretty pretty um, pretty solid sort of sound. And then on um, uh, scene two, I've got the same amp, just boosted um, a little bit um, through um, through the output section, and then num uh, scene number three. I'm using the sh shiver lead, um, and then four once again is the shiver lead boosted, um, and I'll show you how I boost that in a minute. Um, and then I've got things like phases and chorus and tremolos and all that sort of stuff going on. Um, and what you'll notice here is well, I've got before and after the imp sim, I've got some parametric EQ. Um, and what I find, I find that the parametric, especially before the amp, and I've got it boosted, where is it? Boosted at 600 hertz uh, on 2 dB with a 0.7 Q. Um, and I find this gives a, uh, especially with um, this guitar and my Shaw, um, the, the Music Man, this is Luke 3, um, it's got an older body, and the Shaw especially is sort of, um, not as mid heavy as say like a Les Paul or PRS. Um, so if I'm using my Les Paul, I'll switch that parametric EQ off um, just to just to accommodate for the extra mid range in the guitar. Um, and it yeah, just sort of strengthens the sound of the of the tone. Like without probably can't hear it a lot through the computer speakers, but. Just yeah, just strengthens the sound a little bit more. And same with the parametric EQ after the amp sim before um, before the cab. Actually, I might, as we speak now, I might actually change that around uh, because in the last firmware version, um, the guys at Fractal have introduced a new feature on uh, the parametric EQ, which gives a really cool sort of sound which I used on one of my other features, features. it's the uh, shelving 2 um, and that works really well because normally in my cab block I will use a low cut on it um, which for some reason I don't have on, on this one um, and a high cut around 6000 6, hertz um, just to tame those lower and high end frequencies coming out of the amp sim um, but what I've found is that this shelving too works really well. So if I um, set around 125 and reduce the gain on that and have this set about 0 0.5, 0 0.6, um, it gives a little bit of a bump in the lower section of that. Do you see the little bump that's happening there? Uh, and it just, I, f I find it just, yeah, it adds a little bit of a sweetness to the sound. Same with this one too. So if I send that up about 6,000 hertz or 6K, um, bring the Q down and pull that out. Uh, yeah, I find that, that works, that's been working really well on other patches. So yeah, just fixed it on this one. Um, so that's ooh, that's that. Now what I've got coming out here, I've got this breaking off here. This uh, chain of effects is heading off to my effects loop, which heads straight to my amp. So this is my dry signal. Like I said, if I'm doing wet, dry, wet, I'll turn that delay off. Oh, come on. Oh, turn the delay off. Um, and that way I'm getting a dry signal. These two volume pedals are linked, so they're both using um, 
one of my external external one, which is my expression pedal for my post volume. You can see that's. Um, yeah, volume volume does what a volume does. But yeah, those two are linked on the same expression pedal, external one. Uh, this one here is should be external two or oh, external three. Sorry, external three, which is my pre volume pedal. So if I bring it back. Get clean and it comes in nice and strong when I boost it up. Um, what else can I say about that? So yeah, volume pedals. Um, I use uh, an enhancer for my in ears, um, and I just find it just uh, it's a little bit hard to explain. But when you've got in ears, it sort of moves the the focus of where the sound is a little bit more forward rather than being back in your head. Um, and that yeah works quite well. Um, delays and all that sort of stuff's pretty standard. Uh, what I normally do with my amp sims, if we have a look at Shiba, um, I run the master a little bit hotter, um, and I always try and use a bright bright switch. Um, and I'll also play around with the sag a little bit, um, and sometimes. I will, um, uh, where am I, um, tr play with the transformer drive and the match a little bit just to just to fine tune some of those things. With the shiver I'm boosting 250k by 1.8 and I just find that works for me. Um, and I'll drop the bass down a little bit. Um, with my cab sim what i've done i've actually taken a high res um uh copy i can't remember what they call it it's not tone matching it's something else that you use to uh to do that thing where you put the microphone in front of the speaker and and it scans the scans the speaker box so that's my lanny 212 um and it's got um greenbacks in it so it's not a standard lanny box I took the had a came with 80 watt um, Celestian speakers in it, which were a little bit barky and funny on the top end. So I took those out and put the greenbacks in it. It works really well. It's a really light box, so it's easy to get around. Um, but I find it just gives me a good wide sound, and I run it stereo as well. Um, if if um, there is no facility at a venue where it, they just put a mic in front of that, we don't have the stereo um, split thing. I'll just um, um, use the delay here, that's where I use the delay here um, just to have a bit of delay through my sound and um, and then the rest of this gets forgotten um, but yeah so and that's how I'll, I'll do that and I'll, I'll, or I might run, I'll generally run in ears so this will be my in ear um, purely for in ears when I'm playing a gig where they're just using a mic in front of the cab without the direct ins from the XFX um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I find like, but like I said, the the parametric e EQ for me is especially the one before the amp just really helps tighten things up. Um, uh, and with the boosts for the uh, scene two and four, what I the way I'm doing that, I'm boosting the um, the main on the effects loop to 3 dB, if I put it back to scene 1, you'll see that reduced down to 0. And I'm also boosting the main output on those different scenes to 3 dB. So you can see uh, scene 3 is back to 0, and then 4 is boosted on the output and on effects loop, which gives me a good, good enough boost for solos and uh, whenever I need a bit more of a kick in the volume. Um, so that's pretty much it. In the past, I have um, uh, Plexi has been a pretty much a good staple for me, but I've also used the Bogner Blue, which is really good. Um, sometimes I find the Bogner Blue a little bit squashy in its compression um, with some of the higher volume sounds, but it's got a nice smooth sound to it. I generally try and 
go for a good clean smooth sound with a bit of bite just a bit of bite to it uh, another cool one is the CA Takana 3 which I've used in the past um, I've also used the orange where are the orange thingies the orange ant models you guys can probably see it and are probably pointing straight out to it um, oh there it is the citrus uh, RV50 I find that very similar to the to the Euro Blue, um, just with less compression. So that was probably one of my go-to sounds for a while. But yeah, I've sort of gone back to the Plexi and to the Shiba, Shiba Lead. Um, yeah, so I'll patch, like I said, I'll, I'll put this patch up on somewhere on the internet um, for you guys to download um, if you're interested. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. The guitar's a little bit out of tune, but yeah, the shiver's got that nice big fat ballsy. And you can dig in and really sort of uh, you get that squishy feel about it, which is really cool. videos with the guitars out of tune so I'm not going to play it anymore um, so that's about it if you've got any questions feel free to send me a message or whatever or go to my website um, like my videos um, if you like them like them click the little like button if you think anything's cool and your friends would like it please share it um, just helps me to lift my profile on the old YouTube site um, so yeah any questions feel free to send me an email thanks bye